Hey, church family. In Matthew 25, Jesus shared a parable in which he said, Again, the kingdom of heaven can be illustrated by the story of a man going on a long trip. He called together his servants and entrusted his money to them while he was gone. He gave five bags of silver to one, two bags of silver to another, and one bag of silver to the last, dividing it in proportion to their abilities. He then left on his trip. In the story that Jesus shared, the three servants were each given different amounts of money to manage. Each servant was given an amount based upon his individual abilities. Through this story, Jesus was demonstrating that while we do not all have equal abilities, we do all have equal opportunities and responsibilities. If you're familiar with the story, you know that time passed and the man returned to see what these servants had done with all that they'd been entrusted. The first two servants had doubled their wealth, earning the man's equal praise and increased responsibility. The third servant, however, had hidden his money out of fear, and the result was that he neither lost nor increased what he'd been given to manage. The man was unhappy with this third servant and took back what he had entrusted and gave it to the man with the most money. In other words, he gave it to the one he knew would make the most of it. What was Jesus teaching in this parable? I believe he was teaching that we're all created unique and unlike anyone else. And Jesus knows our skills and entrusts us with those according to our abilities. God doesn't compare us to one another. He judges us equally according to what we've done with all he's entrusted to us. In other words, God wants us to make the most of what we're given, whether it's money, abilities, or opportunities. If we aren't willing to do that, it'll be taken away. So how are you doing when it comes to managing what God has entrusted to you? I pray that we'd all be found faithful in managing our master's wealth and that we'd remember that what we think we own is only on loan. And one day our master will ask us to give an account for what we've done with what he's entrusted us to manage. And that when that day comes, I pray we'd all look forward to hearing his well done. Amen.